Working long hours is killing hundreds of thousands of people a year, according to a new study by the World Health Organization. And now with many people working from home due to the pandemic, some Long Islanders say they're working more than they were before. News 12's Christine Nzinga takes a look at that or what that is doing to our health. It's, I think, typical Long Island. Everything's crazy price, so you gotta, you gotta make it happen. For many, making it happen means working long, hard hours. But according to a study done by the World Health Organization, working 55 hours or more a week could actually kill you. According to the study, in 2016, 745,000 people who worked those hours died from stroke and ischemic heart disease. That was up 29% from the year 2000. The study found that those who work more than 55 hours a week are at a 35% higher risk of having a stroke and 17% higher risk of dying from ischemic heart disease. 20 years, 30 years working all those hours, it just catches up to you. One of the WHO's suggestions is that governments should introduce, implement, and enforce banning mandatory overtime. Some people take pride in that I don't take time off, you know, and, and unfortunately, uh, that kind of mindset, that paradigm um, is a lot of times what deals with some of these underlying stresses and factors, stressors and factors that lead to some of these health concerns. We can help our staff help themselves. Jose Rodriguez is general counsel for Alcott HR in Farmingdale. One thing he says they can do to keep staff members from overworking themselves is to limit their access to certain programs or software they need to do their jobs. You can set a geofencing where certain, you know, their programs or certain software only works within a particular region, so only works within the workplace, let's say. Amelia Siadu is a single mom who says despite the health risk, working more hours is a good thing. We need more hours to get more money because my, for me, example, I pay $1,000 a month for my rent. One hour, 40 hours, it's, it's not enough for me to pay my bills and, and send my money home to. So I think don't it, it, I don't have a choice. So for now, she says she'll continue working as much as she can. Christine Ensing on News 12, Long Island. Well, according to the study, most victims, 72% were men and they're middle-aged or older.